the reason that my home is so clean and organized and the reason that my life feels so organized is because of videos like this. So thank you so much for joining me for this amazing video. Whether you're gonna also clean with me and do a little body doubling action or just listen along as you're doing whatever you're doing, I appreciate you being here. I specialize in divine feminine coaching and so often when you look at divine feminine content you'll see a lot of like hyper luxurious or hyper feminine work women in dresses spinning around and smiling and it almost will kind of remind you of those like tampon commercials in the 90s that definitely did not feel like what it feels like to use a tampon whatsoever so i wanted to share the true behind the scenes of what it actually is to be a divine feminine woman um and it's not always so pretty here i am organizing my closet and these things are so so important because taking a few minutes of your time to just pour into your space and even just touch your items it imprints your energy on these items so if you're on a self-growth journey or on a divine feminine journey or just trying to improve yourself in any way it's really really empowering to organize a few times a year and to just kind of take inventory of what you have deep in your closets deep in your pantries and cabinets so that you can feel really clear energetically in your home also you know where everything is and everything embodies your new divine essence and your new energetic blueprint I'm not the type of person that likes to take a whole entire day to clean and organize, but I do take days where I spend time just being kind of like deranged and that's why i don't look so put together in this video you can see my hair is in a messy bun i didn't even realize that so much of it was out of this bun and that it looked this way and i'm also wearing tights with underwear that probably should not be worn with tights and this honestly would have really embarrassed me in the past all of these things are things that i would have hid from the internet and from the world but I wanted to show you a slice of what it is to be authentically in your divine feminine energy. I'm currently on my moon, which is another way of saying my menstruation cycle. And I'm honoring my body by wearing some underwear that allows me to do some free bleeding. I have some skincare products on and my hair is just out of my face, out of the way. I don't have to think about it at all. And I'm really not worried about what I physically look like. I'm worried about what I feel like i'm working on embodying uh elevated energy on this day and that meant doing a lot of journaling doing a lot of walking doing some gentle exercise and movement to help me remember my divine feminine essence and a big part of that is also taking aligned action as soon as i did all of my meditations and movement and all of the things that i had to do for my self-care i realized that i really really wanted to feel more organized in my life in my whole entire life and this is an urge that so many of us can experience maybe you wake up with it maybe you feel that way after doing a meditation just feeling so inspired and also um, a little bit like disappointed in that inspiration inspired and like ooh, can I even do those things right it can be really challenging for the mind so the way that I navigate that is by doing the next thing that I feel inspired to do over the past few days every time I open my cabinets to make food I've noticed just how chaotic they're getting and when I open them up I don't feel peace and serenity so I wanted to pour some time just 10 minutes of my day into giving myself the gift of feeling more peace and more serenity very very seldom do we experience inspiration to want to clean or to want to organize but when you're able to think about your future self and gifts that you can give to your future self it can actually inspire you to want to take more action right here in this moment and yes 
taking action can be intimidating. So something that I like to do is make a list of all of the things that I want to take action on in my home. Um, winterizing my closet is another thing that I'm going to be doing right after this. And that means just moving all of my summer dresses to the back of the closet so that I can bring my more wintry clothes to the front of the closet because it is getting so, so cold out here. It definitely is a warmer winter than usual, but I tend to get really, really cold. I'm wearing multiple layers in this video, even just being in my home and I'm wearing some ski socks uh, that you're supposed to wear in the snow because I just tend to get so, so cold. So making sure that your home and your lifestyle meets your specific needs is one of the ways that you can really feel elevated and aligned and just like your best self. People always ask me, what is the ritual? What is the meditation? What is the thing that you do to always feel grounded and to always feel good? And the truth is, is that there isn't one thing. It's constantly giving yourself the permission to take action on the things that are causing you discomfort and just allowing yourself to see what's on the other side, see what version of you you are with the more organized closet or seeing what version of you you are after wearing a free bleeding moon underwear instead of your usual cotton tampons and things like that. On my channel, I like to post a lot of content about ways that you can slow down your life and your nervous system, find happiness, find inner peace. And a lot of what I post falls into the category of rewilding, deconditioning what society says we should and shouldn't do, and doing what truly feels good for you, doing what feels in alignment for your mind, for your body, and for your soul. Living a lifestyle where you're actually able to develop a relationship with nature and with your own inner nature that feels so incredibly empowering and aligned and just expansive for you. I truly believe that every single person on this planet deserves to feel like their best self, yet we haven't been given the blueprint or the manual and the steps on how to do this. Those steps are not in a specific ritual, although I love sharing my rituals in my membership and on uh, my channel over here. Um, but those steps are actually in just the way that you live your life, your mindset, your habits, how you choose to carry yourself, how you choose to live in your home and take care of your things, how you take care of the items that you have, as well as your thoughts, as well as your emotions, as well as your physical body. It's so valuable to really invest the time and energy into the way that you live your life because it reflects in how you carry yourself at work, how you show up in your friendships, how you work out in the gym, or whether or not you end up making it to the gym that day. These little things that seem to really not make a huge difference do make a huge difference. So I want you to set a timer to write a little list of the things that maybe are ready to be elevated in your life and to take a few minutes each day to elevate those things. This really can be the time that you feel like your best self, whether you are on a 90-day journey, whether you're setting your New Year's intentions or just setting yourself up for cleanliness this week. Taking this time really does pay off in the long run. And I really, really am so proud of everyone who chooses to prioritize their, themselves and their needs to take care of themselves in deeper ways than most people do. To not just take that day off, but to use your time to create the love, to create the love, to create the life that you really love and to create love in that as well. It takes courage in every moment. It takes being in your deepest alignment which you are already doing just by watching this video. This video would not have come across your feed. You would not have been called to enjoy this time together if your soul was not ready to take these next steps into living your elevated life. So 
So I'm really, really happy for you that we found each other in this giant universe. And I hope that you become a member of our soul family by subscribing to my channel here, as well as becoming a part of our membership where I go live and dive even deeper on on the topics that bring so much joy, creativity, and inner peace into our lives. It is such an honor to be able to guide you inside of our exclusive membership where there's really no censorship on anything that we can talk about regarding divine feminine topics and spiritual topics and rituals. It is so, so fun. And I just want to say if you're on day one of your self-development journey or your 20 years in you are exactly where you're meant to be and it's an honor to be here with this version of you so give yourself some love today give your space some love today you really really deserve it